Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a kind of an intriguing topic going on over here, as we're also comfy up in the bed, where we're actually now seeing, once again, more rumors that Sony is actually not fully against for actually raising up the price of the PlayStation 5. And now, what else does it also mean? Because it also probably interpret that we'll actually maybe be watching and seeing for some Xbox potential price raises too as well. And it does kind of make a lot of sense, as we'll talk about throughout this video, mainly in regards of us still having a lot of supply chain issues, semiconductor issues, just pretty much everything out there. Although, we actually might touch on this in maybe a separate video later on throughout today, as I'm trying to get all my packing all good to go for tomorrow, where we actually might be actually hearing even more good news, though, in terms of production. So we have a lot of little various things, too, and some other little things to bring it up, so hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, and hope you guys have a good weekend. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation. 5 giveaway. We have our Howl links down below. We keep on mentioning on up. If you guys go check and see and save a bunch of money on those Samsung deals, and a lot of you folks go and check those on out, so feel free to. We also do have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We have the Weeble and Target links that you keep on recommending, and of course, leave it a like in the video if you guys want. So as we've mentioned, we've kind of seen a little bit of rumors when this console first came out, and I think we're seeing even more of it as of now when it comes to the Horizon bundles. Now, these Horizon bundles actually seem pretty intriguing. Number one, because they are actually selling pretty decently, like a lot of stores, a lot of locations have been getting a lot of the stock. But as well, it's also intriguing to go and see the PlayStations in general still doing and turning out pretty good. But when it comes to all the price points of it, it still does keep on getting pretty expensive in regards to making these consoles, getting the consoles, getting the actual chips for the consoles, and all of that. So as of today, there's been a lot more extra additional news going on when it comes to Sony going for price points. We've seen a lot of these big news articles, too, as well, like the Kotaku's, the, we even have the GameSpot, IGN's, having a chance to somewhat dive into this. So, Sony actually will not be ruling out of any PlayStation 5 price increases. Could the PlayStation 5 be getting more expensive, plus the Steam Deck availability is improving. We can touch on that really quick, too, as well, we talked to some of this. So, could a PlayStation 5 price hike actually happen? Uh, so, I'm going to say yes. Now, do I kind of think it's likely, though, at this point? Probably not. I think you guys could all probably agree if you guys are watching this video. I don't think the likelihood is really that high, mainly because we've also had around two years of folks getting the consoles, buying the consoles. Like, what would happen if there was literally a price hike tomorrow, and then everyone who had a chance to get a console yesterday, you know, somehow got a way better deal? But we have actually seen Sony and other places kind of somewhat toy and kind of look around when it comes to all these restocks and all these numbers. Now, I'm kind of in more intrigued on that myself, mainly because it does seem possible. Now, with higher inflation costs would probably be one of the bigger ones out there, and as well the fact that other big locations actually have done and increase, increase their prices. So if you guys have not had a chance to see uh, basically, the Metaverse, which I actually may pull up an article for that later on throughout this video, uh, you know, the Meta headset, I do believe officially went and pushed for a proper price increase. Now, that's kind of almost somewhat unheard of, and I think you guys would probably agree on this. Not many times do we see places, especially after a product's been out for a while, typically have a price increase. Although, we can always go and include things, say, like Tesla, where, you know, Elon himself actually went and raised the prices on multiple different times for pretty much a car in the same exact system and format, uh, which is very, 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 very intriguing to go and see at the end of the day. Uh, but as well, now that we're actually seeing proper electronic hardware doing that too. But the big issue is I've seen it sometimes on, like, the step-by-step. -step. So think maybe iPhone, like, 8 to iPhone 9 to iPhone 10. But typically not so much of, like, an iPhone 10 and then iPhone 10 six months later. So the PlayStation 5 is still flying off of store shelves, but due to supply chain issues and other factors, the system has not been able to match the sales success of the PS4 thus far. Which is very intriguing also to go and see, uh, but I think there's also just different time, different place, and all of that. Sony's latest earnings briefing shows that the PS5's lifetime has actually reached 21.7 million now, which we can also do a deep dive into that if you guys ever want to in the next few days. Uh, as you guys may or not know, I actually should be going back to Chicago pretty soon, so we have some pretty good time for videos for that one. Uh, and basically, like I said, they're at 21.7 million since launch of November 2020. The PlayStation 4, by comparison, reached 25.4 million units in its first seven quarters on the market. 
Now, I'm going to first and foremost go and say that that's kind of insane. Those are some really big, really high numbers. And at the end of the day, that's like a quarter of like 100 million. That's pretty pretty good in terms of consoles. Although still pushing 21.7 in the middle of a pandemic, semiconductor issues, everything else. Like, you still got to admit, that's pretty good. During a call with investors... Sony actually was, and this is the big topic of why everyone keeps on bringing this on out, Sony was asked about a potential PlayStation 5 price increase, something the company has done in Japan with other products too as well. And this is why, like, I think that it has even more merit. Because if, say, you're a big company like Sony, you do do things like, you know, how they mentioned, speakers, headphones, and cameras due to various factors and price increases. So think even TVs, think other features too as well. And now as I kind of go into that, it's very intriguing to say the least, mainly because in my mind, like, I... I don't want to say, like, I would understand, because I definitely would not want it. I already have my PS5, though, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. But it does, in my mind, kind of make sense. More so in regards of, like, if it costs an extra $20 compared to last year to make, say, a PS5, if you got to do a small price increase for maybe $25, I think people would still be buying them. I think people probably want to have the biggest issues with it and at the end of the day or the kind of just keep on doing what they're doing right now with the bundles and i do think the bundle was i think i made a video on this like when i was in vegas uh, i think that was probably one of the more intriguing aspects of it mainly because it didn't make sense or a lot of these consoles overall like i said like you'd basically go and have folks out here and they'd be trying to be like hey let's just go and rope in horizon cause an extra 50 bucks maybe the game's usually 60 and let's kind of just give them a good deal give them a good price point and make sure you know like it's still like a win-win for everyone. It's like a GameStop or a bundle where it's like you do the PS5 and do the controller. And although it may cost an extra $10 to do the console, thankfully you're making that $10 back on the controller. So, you know, it kind of makes a lot of sense. I do kind of get the rough idea and format with it, you know, at least in my mind. So, kind of just depends on all this stuff. I think if they did do it, I would understand. Do I want them to do it? No. Do I think they're going to do it? Probably not, mainly because it's been in the market for so long. Though I could also, if I had to see like a balance, as I mentioned just before, I can maybe see something more along the lines of like, say, a headset included or like a controller included for more bigger bundles or even pushing that, say, for Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Amazon, etc., which is probably why they're pushing the Horizon bundle so much. So according to the VGC's translation of comments made, CFO Hiroki Totoki said, Sony isn't prepared to comment on the possibility of a PS5 price hike. So, this is kind of intriguing. He says about a potential price increase for the PS5. At this point in time, there is nothing specific I can share with you about prices, the executive said. And now that's intriguing because typically you'd be like, no. If you happen to know, you'd be like, no. We're not going to have a price increase. We're not going to move. We're not going to do anything different. No. Uh, but the fact that he did not go and specifically say that is somewhat, somewhat like, in my mind, a little bit concerning. Because, like, you want to know if there's going to be an issue. You want to know if there's going to be a price increase. You want to know, like, what's going on here. And the fact that we still don't know about it, and the fact that they didn't go give a flat-out no, does kind of raise a little bit of a concern. As well, especially as we mentioned before, the fact that they've actually done that with other products, too, as well. So it's not like just a Sony, like, PS5, oh, clickbait. It's more of like, hey, there's actually been, like, you know, inflation. Sales aren't doing good. Maybe, like, overall expectations aren't doing as good. And as well, if they've done this with other products and it hasn't had too much of an effect or too much of a negative effect, I mean, at the end of the day... Why would they not want to? So while a price increase would be an unprecedented move for a console, we did also just go and see that with the MetaQuest 2, which is once again surprising to see a $100 price hike. And I mean, it does kind of make sense, too, because even now, two years later, scalping prices are still around $600. So, like, it does kind of make a lot of sense, too, as well. Like, just in my mind, it makes sense. And on top of that, too, as we're in the weird setup, the article does also go and run down with the Steam Deck, pretty much getting good availability. Let me go touch on that in a separate video, too, as well. But... It does kind of go to show that a lot of these consoles, man, are kind of having some rough struggles uh, just in terms of still making them, the profitability of them, and everything else. And I guess I'd be just kind of curious if you guys would even want to pay even more money. Like I said, a lot of scalpers and third-party people have been paying that for two years. Sony might be seeing that and be like, well, 
maybe that's the price we should be charging to get the numbers all equaled out. So I'm going to hope that there's no price increase. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. As well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We do have our Howl links down below for all the stamps and credits we keep on mentioning a bunch. So click on that and check that on out. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. We have the Target links too as well. And as I mentioned too, we might have a little bit of a weird hiccup the next one or two days as I get back in the groove before we start making more videos. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. You guys are all lovely. I'll see you guys up in the next one.